what excites me about the gaming industry and developing video games in general is taking a step back after you've worked on something for say a month or two and saying that I was a part of that and, and that looks cool. We founded Precursor Games July 2012. What we wanted to do was create a efficient, agile environment where uh, we have a core team. Precursor Games is unlike any other studio that I've worked at before. We are a tight-knit social and professional team. Everyone here is highly capable and they can just jump into any task at any time and ex execute it well. Being in the industry for a very, very long time, one of the biggest problems that we always had as game designers is we never had that direct contact with the consumer. So with digital distribution, we can look to ways to raise our own money and interact directly with the consumers and have that direct uh, feedback that allows us to do things in many, many different ways and ways that haven't been done before. When we had the idea to start Precursor, we felt that we were at the forefront of this changing industry. And unless you are flexible and, and responsive to those changes, you just can't adhere to what the community wants. And I think that is very important, is uh, speaking to your community and getting to know them and, and what type of product that they want. So we are proud to announce Shadow of the Eternals, a spiritual successor to Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. This game features a rich cast of characters that is woven into a very compelling story that spans over thousands of years. It opens up a, a large range of uh, narrative tools which I've been meaning to play with for quite some time, even going way back to uh, Eternal Darkness, which has a similar narrative structure. Now we've moved on to more playful, more in, in innovative um, techniques. Uh, and now there's lots of competition at uh, area, so we need to basically raise the ante and uh, provide something that uh, is, is more compelling for a modern audience. With working on the original title, uh, Sandy's Requiem, uh, I was exposed to uh, the cult-like following that, that kind of surrounded the game and how kind of popular that title was. And uh, I've always been really kind of uh, attracted to wanting to see that through into kind of a follow-up. And I think seeing how technology has evolved nowadays and bringing in real-time dynamic lighting and bringing in those high particle effects is something that I'm really excited to, to kind of pursue. We chose the Crytek engine because we are able to realize our vision artistically and even through gameplay of what we want to accomplish. The CryEngine 3 really offered us a lot of technology at our disposal. The incredible workflow, the dynamic lighting, There's so many features in the engine that are cutting edge. We really worked hard in evaluating it to make sure that we would be able to produce a game that we'd be proud of and that would look fantastic. Precursor has been able to leverage some of the major features of the CryEngine for use within their game and they've been able to apply their skill, talent and speed to produce already very high quality assets as well as gameplay. One point that I like to make about the CryEngine is that it's not designed to make bad art look good but rather to make good art look even better and this is precisely what we're seeing with a team like Precursor. We follow uh, the investigation of Paul Becker. He's been called to a crime scene where there's been a massacre in this abandoned asylum. Two survivors remain. One person who's completely clean cut and uh, looks like he's right off of Wall Street. Another who looks like he's dressed in full colors from a biker gang. You are interrogating two people that are giving you different versions of the same story. They've lost their memory of who they are, they can't remember anything, and they want to kill each other. Your job is to figure out what parts of each of these people's story is the truth. It takes place over thousands of years at several different locations. So as we bring in different areas, I can introduce instruments that are associated with that area. So as a composer, it's a real treat to work on something like that because I have so many flavors to work with. We've layered on a lot of mystery. And even explaining it hopefully will not destroy uh, the allure of wanting to discover it. So a lot of people may be thinking, why should I contribute to this? Um, and I think there's a lot of answers for that. First off, we are a group of very experienced people. This is what we want to do. And it's going to give us a conduit to create a game that otherwise probably wouldn't be made 
in the traditional gaming industry through a traditional publishing relationship. It's the only way the game's going to get made. And we think that by releasing it episodically, we can keep putting out little portions and people can decide with their wallet whether they want us to continue. We've thought about our pledge tiers and rewards very carefully. And we feel that they appeal to a, a wide audience ranging from the casual gamer to the hardcore gamer. But for our early adopters, we are offering limited edition rewards, such as uh, exclusive in-game items, as well as uh, exclusive physical merchandise. You'll notice in our teaser trailer, in our gameplay trailer, it says, in collaboration with the Order of the Unseen. Upon pledging, you will gain entry into the Order of the Unseen. We're able, through the Order of the Unseen, to allow gamers to actually create games that they want to play. Your level of interaction is totally up to you, but you will have an opportunity to interact, you will have an opportunity to participate and contribute to the content. And that's something I know me as a gamer, I certainly would love to do. You open up the questions for people and they always have ideas. And people want their ideas to be heard. And I think this model does give us a chance to basically see what people want from a product um, and actually give it to them. So we would appreciate it very much and we would throw all of our effort into satisfying you you know, as a consumer and as a gamer to say, well, that was money well spent. And that, that contribution really helped make this game that I got tremendous enjoyment of. We need your help and contributions to make this game a reality. And we've come up with a list of great incentives in exchange for your support. For more information, go to shadowoftheeternals.com.